You are still in the United States. So how are you coping uh, with the situation of being locked down? Uh, you know, it's been crazy. You know, obviously this is, um, I never heard this like this, you know, um, I never imagined it would be like this and, you know, but it is what it is. You know, we, we all have to, you know, stick together, you know, uh, we got to help each other and, you know, it's, we got to go through it together. Yeah. And you are doing good, right? You're feeling okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm doing fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, your hair has grown a lot. Uh, when's the last time you got a haircut? I think a month ago, yeah. The, okay. the, those, the, yeah, that's how I remember, yeah. Well, it looks good. A long I, don't time. Know, I don't know what your mom or your family says, but it looks yeah. good. Uh, yeah, my mom doesn't like it. But. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, well, we have a lot of questions, so uh, why don't we just start? And yep. uh, first of all, uh, one of the questions we got from the fans uh, was, how are you staying in basketball shape, considering you don't have access to a court right now? Um, I got I to gotta wait like weight, weight stuff, like waiting, like I'm doing like a weight lifting mm -hmm. stuff in here and then I have a bike in here. So like, I, I just do those kind of stuff every day. Okay. And then as a team, we have like a group walkout with the, using the Zoom, you know? So mm -hmm. yeah, it's been, I've been walking out. Yeah, those kind of stuff and yeah, stay in shape. And I'm also the ball hundred to actually have a ball in here, so. Yeah. Sure, sure. Um, I saw on TikTok you were, doing you know kind of a day in the life of Rui. oh yeah 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 and, that's um, what exactly doing that every day yeah doing a little ball handling so that actually still is enough for you to sort of up your skills ball handling wise i mean it's not enough but you know i mean what else i can do you know um obviously we can't use you know we can't go to the gym and anything so but yeah right. i have to do whatever i can do right now so. what is the uh, zoom workout like i think it's blair o'donovan one of the performance coaches right who's leading yeah, it. Yeah. And there's also, I think, a yoga class, but take us through yeah. some of the um, Zoom workouts that you have with the teammates. It's, it's been great. It's been great. You know, uh, obviously, it's good to walk out, but, you know, and also, like, uh, just see, you know, my teammates, the coaches and stuff on through the Zoom and stuff. So it's, it's great to see them. And uh, always, every time, you know, um, we're having fun and we talk about, you know, a lot of things. So, yeah, it's been great. I like it. Are people still like cracking jokes? You know the way it is in practice, and you know the yeah, way it is some, yeah, it's exactly like that. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> been it's been fun. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um. Okay. Let's go to the next question. Uh. What was the hardest part of your rookie season? You know, I'm sure you've had I mean, you had your injury, but you know, what was the hardest thing? Uh, I think the schedule was really mm -hmm. tough for me. You know, especially coming out from my college. You know, the college max, we have, like, maybe 30 games. You know, we play 30 games a year. Mm -hmm. Here, obviously, we play, like, 80, like, more, even more, you know, if you make a playoffs. So, you mm -hmm. know, playing games almost every day. And then, obviously, we have a road game, you know, go to West Coast, come back to East Coast, and, like, back and forth, you know. It was mm -hmm. it was very tough for me to adjust to. When you have those back-to-backs, especially on the road, you have to travel after a game, and then you – uh, have to do a back-to-back -back game the next day. I mean, you're probably off like maybe six or seven hours sleep. But like, you know, if you're like, if a hundred is sort of your peak um, sort of body condition, like, what percentage are you at for those back-to-backs? Uh, I don't know. My body's, you know, uh, my body's usually like get tired soon, like you know, quick. But mm -hmm. I think very important is like mental, like you know, how mm -hmm. you can, you know. Um, you know, obviously you played last night and then like, you know, come back next game, you know, next day is like new another game. So you have to, mm -hmm. you know, you have to change my, your mind, like whatever happened last game, you know, you have to just, you know, um, focus on the next game. Those kind of stuff is really important, I think. Yeah. My body is like, you know, we got to recover, like, you know, do, you know, sure. talk with the trainers and whatever, icing and stuff, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's actually mental. A lot of it is mental. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, let's go to the next question. Uh, have you watched film of past Wizards games during this break? And if so, uh, what have you discovered about your own game that you didn't realize when the season was still going on? Um, I watched, yeah, I watched a couple games, you know. Um, obviously, um, I think even, like, I watched a couple games from, like, when I started, like, in the beginning of the season. And then I watched a couple games, you know, just like the past month, like, you know, we play. And I think um, 
I improve a lot of things, you know, uh, especially like, you know, bow hundred and like uh, spacing and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember I used to say, you know, the spacing is so different, you know, um, being beginning of the season, I felt a little bit awkward, you know, feel different, feel different. But now sure. I'm like used to it, you know, I'm, I get, you know, I'm, I'm really more comfortable to play. And uh, obviously playing with these guys, you know, uh, my teammates is very fun. So mm -hmm. playing with them is very fun. So like, you know, and I have, we have more chemistry now. So, you know, it's, yeah, I think those are kind of stuff I approve. And then uh, I have to improve more like the shooting stuff, you know, the three points. And then, uh, yeah, I think those kind of stuff. I see. So you were looking at past games, obviously looking for areas where you might be able to improve or even looking to confirm to see if you had improved in certain areas. Was that the point of looking at past film? Yeah, yeah. Like both of them, you know, obviously, you know, because um, it's obvious, like, you know, playing, like watching like a beginning of the, I played the beginning of the season, the games, the beginning of the season. And then like the past month, you know, we played, it's like, I feel different, you know, I see like mm -hmm. a lot of different things. So yeah, it's fun to watch. You talked about spacing, but did you feel like um, back in, uh, I think it was uh, December 1st when you played the Clippers and Kawhi Leonard praised you on how you were able to find attack spots really well. So he was already praising you on spacing. Do you feel like your spacing was already good then? And, or have you improved a lot more since then? How do you feel about that as, as far yeah, as- Yeah, I feel like I, I, improved, I improved a lot since then, you know, um, especially the Kawhi, you know, he's, he's one, one of my, favorite player to watch, you know, I watch a lot of his clip and stuff, so uh, obviously he's really good at, like, you know, finding space and stuff, so yeah, I think um, it's, yeah, I think I have, I improved a lot, yeah. Okay, and that's really just a matter of reps, I guess. Yeah, 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 it's more like watching film and, like, you know, play more experience and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Uh, recently, Bradley Beal said that he felt that you could play more of the three position at the small forward position. Uh, is that something you would like to do in year two? I mean, yeah, obviously, you know, um, I think my strength is, not, you know, um, I can find a mismatch, you know, like, especially like, you know, my four, I play four right now, obviously not most three, but like, you know, I can find like mismatch and stuff, you know, if, we, if I have a small guy on it, like, you know, I can just, you know, push in a pan and stuff. And, but like, if I have a big guys, I can just drive by and then like, you know, do whatever. So, mm -hmm. but like, you know, it's, I, I feel like it's almost the same thing, three and a four. So, but like, you know, like you said, like, you know, if the team needs me to play three, like I would like to play. And if it's four or five, like, I don't care. Yeah. Sure. Uh, in a pinch this year or this season, you played a little bit at the five position, mostly at the four, obviously. But how much do you actually, I know that you just talked about three and the four, you know, now that the NBA is a little bit positionless, maybe it doesn't matter so much. But I mean, how much three do you think you played this past season? How much what? How much at the three position? Uh, what percentage oh. or, you know, to what extent do you think you played the three position? I actually didn't play that much, but... You know, for me, it's three and a four is kind of the same thing, you know, a little bit different. But, you know, um, I think what I have to improve more is like, I think, uh, defense side, you know. No. Oh, um, yeah. I think three, you know, they have more shooters and stuff. So I have to, you know, move my feet quick and stuff. And like, you know, I have to just, yeah, I think more defense side. But offense, I think I, there's, I don't I don't worry about the offense. But defense, like I have to more... Uh, and have more experience. Okay, so really defense to become better or to play the three position. Uh, offensively, yeah. though, is it about ball handling and hitting threes? Yeah, I think so. The ball handling, of course, you know, obviously you got to put more ball, you know, throw and stuff, but push the throw and stuff, but, you know, um, and then shooting threes, yeah, obviously, yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Moving on. Uh, if the NBA resumed today or if the NBA resumed this season, how confident are you that your team can make the playoffs sitting five and a half games out of the playoff position? So um, you guys are ninth right now, right? Was it yeah. I think I'm pretty confident, you know. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like, obviously we have five games behind or whatever, but, like, I yep. think um, we were in a good position, you know, when we uh, – the season got – I mean, just, like, you know, stop, you know. I think uh, mm -hmm. we still have a good chemistry, you know. We almost communicate every day, you know, either like a training, like a workout, so like we watch like a film together and stuff. So like, uh, you know, 
we still have mm -hmm. the same feeling you know, each other in the, in the team. So like I think um, when we get back, like we we still have a good chemistry and uh, part two those um, season. Okay. But realistically, though, five and a half games with, I think, 18 games remaining, right? So you would almost have to win every game or, you know, at least the majority of them. So you're pretty confident you can do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think we have a potential to do it, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, the NBA, like, you know, the, I think the reminder of the schedule is kind of, I think I remember it was kind of tough schedule too. But, you know, uh, I think we have potential to win. You know, we obviously, like, we improve a lot, you know, as a team, um, you know, since uh, – beginning of the season so I think yeah we can we can make that okay uh next question uh what has been your biggest challenge and adjustment adapting to the NBA game and life in the NBA you did talk about uh the traveling and the number of games so maybe aside from that what's been the biggest challenge oh uh, obviously on the court like I, I I just say you know I've been saying like the spacing and stuff, you know, it was different to me, but you know, I got improved, I think, you know, I thought it was more like experience and stuff, you know, if you play more games, you know, get used to it and stuff. But uh, off the court, like, you know, um, I think there's more attention, there's more attention, you know, obviously like, um, like a whole country following me right now, you know, sure. um, it's a good thing, but you know, it's, I gotta, I gotta focus on, you know, uh, my stuff and especially like you know college compared to college you know like it's professional here so like you know mm -hmm. we have a we, we I, I can do like other stuff too you know like um like I can I can have like a sponsorship and stuff but like sure. those are not my like a real job you know like basketball is my real job so I think those are stuff like how much uh I have to focus on like you know how much I can control myself you know so yeah, you do it, yeah. I guess there's a lot of distractions. Um, if you want to have a lot of distractions in the NBA, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I think uh, those are very important. Like how, why, why I'm here and like why, what's my job and stuff. That's, I never forget. And, you know, I think that's my priority. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, who has been the best mentor for you within the Wizards organization? Uh, this is a lot. I mean, obviously, uh, um, the Brad is, you know, one guy I'm always like looking, looking at him, you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, talk to him, you know, about like the basketball and then like off the court, everything, you know, um, he's a, he's a great leader, you know, on the team. So, um, I think it's good to see like, you know, even like in the practice, like, you know, I can watch him, I, I watch him like, you know, how much he, I, he, he works, you know, very hard. So like, you know, and the stuff. So I think I, yeah. The brother is going to be the one, yeah. So it's really about his work ethic and just seeing yeah. how he leads by example. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he he's no more like a talk talking guy, but you know he 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 shows you know mm -hmm. um, whatever he's doing, and you know I can see like you know he's trying to show, and like I can feel that. So I think okay. that's yeah, he's the guy I always look at. Okay. Uh, next question: uh, What is your favorite part of playing on the Wizards? Uh. I think playing with the team, you know, my teammates, you know, obviously, like, we have a lot of guys, you know, a lot of young guys and, you know, a lot of players, like, you know, from everywhere, you know, like, all around the world, you know, it's it's fun to do that. I like I like it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then, obviously, those superstars, you know, like Brad, John, you know, um, those playing with those guys, you know, and I think, yeah, those those are things. And obviously, the coaches, too, you know, it's, mm -hmm. the, there's a lot of coaches here, so. You know, it's, yeah, it's fun to just, like, hanging out with them. You know, those are fun. Yeah, those are really fun to do. Okay. Um, wow. We have already talked for 14 minutes. I think we're kind of down to maybe a last couple of questions in English. Uh, why don't I pick one here? Um, who did you look up to when you started playing basketball? Oh, uh, I think I watched a lot. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, yeah. He, mm -hmm. he was my guy. Um when I started playing basketball, I watched his, you know, footstep and like, you know, his pull up shot, you know, obviously that's why my, I think I have a pull up right now, you know, cause I watched him a lot. Um, he's obviously a big guy, you know, 6A and then he's like a power forward, small forward, you know, he, he uses, he, yeah, I think he, I watched him a lot when I was a kid. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, let's wrap it up with the last question uh, in English here. Uh, actually, speaking of Carmelo, um, I mean, what player was the hardest to guard for you this season? Was Carmelo, I think, might have been handsome yeah. for you in Portland as well. Yeah, he, he was, you know, yeah, he was one of them. And, but I think the James Harden was, yeah, hardest guy to guard. Yeah, okay. I think okay. my, our first game was, yeah. Obviously, you know, remember, but yeah, it was a crazy game. You know, he scored like a 50 yeah. points. Yeah. 59 yeah. points. Yeah, that was crazy, yeah. That was really kind of your introduction to the NBA. It was your fourth game, but I guess when someone in front of you scores 59 points, you know it's Yeah, real. yeah, for sure. Okay. 